you know the song that your father wrote for me? I do indeed. Come on, let us hear. Can we do it together? I sit down on a narrow way. Hoping I could find true love along the broken road. Now I got lost a time or two. Wiped my brow and kept pushing. Nice sound, nice talk. Very clear. And I couldn't see how every sign points straight to you. My name's Peter Donegan, and I'm 35, and I'm originally from London. Any relation to Lonnie Donegan? That's my dad. No, not really. Lonnie's my dad. Really? Wow. Wow, what the, what the, who? I live at home with my wife, Alina, and my three-and-a-half-year-old son, Eric. Alina and I have been together now nine years. We actually met on Facebook. Hey, pretty smiling people. Eric is awesome. He was born in 2015, and it took us about two and a half years of trying. So when we finally got him, it was a massive dream come true. It's totally brilliant. I grew up around music, quite naturally, because my dad was Lonnie Donnelly. Peter, as soon as he could, he started to imitate his dad and doing his songs. By the time I turned 17, I ended up touring with Dad, being his piano player. To suddenly be on stage with them was phenomenal. I learned so much from the man which I'd grown up watching and idolizing. Unfortunately, in 2002, he passed away. That was very sudden for all of Said us. I loved you without hesitation. I see his dad through him, and it gives me a little tear, and I know his father is watching it. I'm here today because I want to support my family, finally, doing what I love doing. I want to make my name in my own right while still paying homage to dad, you know. It'd be wonderful for someone to turn around and believe in him. It will mean a lot. I'd like to finally have that career that Dad would be able to look down on and be proud of, and also that my son can be proud of. So when he grows up, would be like, you know, hey, Dad, look what he did. We did shows together, you know, your father and myself. I know, but you're OK now. <laughs> <laughs> you got your father's sense of humor. I'm because... sorry about that. No, no. <laughs> No, it's great. Dad was my best friend, so it was, you know, yeah, it was always going to rub off. He's a great, great man, great, great writer. He wrote, I'm never going to fall in love again for me, you know, it was a song I did. When rock and roll first kicked in in the, in the 50s, your father was one of the few British singers that held his own, you know, with rock island light. He made so many great records. 
I'm glad to see that you're following in his footsteps. I mean, you're a great singer in your own right. I appreciate that. Thank you for having me. And that's why I came. You know what? That's kind of, that's magical. Mm -hmm. You heard something in his voice and it struck a chord and you hit your button and turned around. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a beautiful, magical moment. That's awesome. Yeah. Some things are meant to be, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> it's true. You know the song that your father wrote for me? I do indeed. Come on, let us hear. Can we do it together? Yeah. I have to play it on the piano. Oh, you're gonna play it? Oh, okay, good. Can we take you to the top? Please, Ollie, thank you. I'll look after it for you. It's my dad's guitar. Oh, right. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful, Ollie. Ollie. Don't break it. <laughs> All right, here we go. I've been in love so many times. Thought I knew the score But now you've treated me so wrong I can't take any more And it looks like I'm never gonna fall In love Get old man, now I can see it. Yeah, from here down, I got the nose. <laughs> Welcome to the Thank you for having me. Thank you. I don't think that is the last time we're going to see you guys sing with each other. I hope not. I've got no. a feeling you're going to sing that again not. at some point. Jesus, you're amazing. All the best. Yeah. I like that song, Tom. Yeah, I'm never going to fall in love again. There's no words. It was fantastic. <laughs> How random is you getting that guy? I know. That's freaky, isn't it? That was really something. That's a, that's a magical moment. To have the one person that you wanted to turn around actually turn around is just out of this world. I'm going to cherish that forever. The last one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's a tough one. And they both sound so good on this. Peter and Dina are both incredible singers. Choosing between them is going to be my hardest decision yet. Me blinds it was the best experience in my life.
stands and looking at them all. I was like, am I actually here? <laughs> Where are you Dina. from? Liverpool. Dina's got a wonderful personality and it comes across. You don't have to look how you sound and that, do you know what I mean? It's yeah. just all about the voice. My dad was Lonnie Donegan and used to tour with Tom. The blind audition did feel like a destiny thing. I recognized something in his voice. I didn't know what it was. To you. But then when he told me that Lonnie Donegan was his father. That's my dad. No, not really. Really? I mean, you could have knocked me down with a feather. I mean, I, I wasn't prepared for that. Do you know the song that your father wrote for me? I do indeed. Come on, let us hear. To perform that song with Tom that my dad wrote. <laughs> Nothing compares to that. Peter and Dina. Hi. Do you like Bob Dylan? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good, because I picked the Bob Dylan song. It's a very meaningful song, I think. And the biggest hit on it was Adele, and it's called Make You Feel My Love. Make You Feel My Love is such a beautiful song. They just need to connect with it. When the rain is blowing in your face. Dina's a great singer. She's got such a buzz about her. She's just a great person to hang around with. And I enjoy singing with her. No, it's nothing that I wouldn't do. Peter's got a really lovely tone. To make you feel it is scary going up against them. And every time he does a certain bit, like, oh, that's lovely. <laughs> yes! I hear your father in, in, in your voice. You know, you can, you can hear him, which is a great thing, you know, because he was, he was something. And it sounds so lovely and emotional, and uh, it's gonna make it difficult for me, though. The big decision I gotta make now is who stays and who goes home, that's the problem. This is the most important thing I've ever done. I used to sit on the stage and watch my dad. And my son's here tonight. I want him to look up at me, I wanna see that smile, and have that same feeling I used to have. Um, This is my passion and it's the world to me. There's no going back now. It's Dina! <laughs> versus Peter Donovan. This is it. We're not ready to go home, neither of us. It's up to Tom now. I'm just gonna do my best. So, let's go. When the rain is blowing in
was magnificent. There was one point in time where I couldn't just hold my excitement. I was like, whoo! <laughs> I'm blown away. And boy, does Tom got a tough choice. What? I'd hate to be you right now. Thank you. <laughs> that was just such a great performance by both of you. Peter, I mean, you've got a great soul, great heart, and you sing with such confidence. And Dina, your vocal is just really special. I'm a, I'm a big fan of yours. It was beautiful. It really, really was. It was <laughs> magnificent. Jennifer, you were singing along the whole way. First of all, this is one of my absolute favorite songs. So to see what y'all just did with it, it was like a treat. So thank you both for that. It was so gorgeous. And like Will said, Tom, you got a serious problem on your yeah, hands, honey. I know, Good I, luck. I know that. So I'm afraid, Tom, it is time for you to make that decision. First of all, you're two wonderful singers, and you really did the song justice. You just lived it, and, and it came across like that. I thought it would be lovely for you, and I was right, but that's what makes it much more difficult for me, because I've got to try and um, figure out which way to go with it, you know? Look, y'all, stop playing and let both of them go through. That's how I feel. <laughs> OK, Tom, it's time for you to make your decision. Who is the winner of the battle? So I'd be going over it and thinking, my God, which way? Because you both have it. There's no, no doubt about that. You both sound so good, you know? I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a shame to split you up, and I mean that sincerely. You're both lovely people. All in all, I think... Um, I have to go with Dina. Hey, Dylan. I'm too hot. I, I, I don't. Even, I can't even speak. Thank you so much. Thank you. One more time for Dina. I can't even describe to you what it means to me to be it on Tom Jones's team. All right, love. Thank you so much. <laughs> 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 A dream come true is an understatement. <laughs> Peter, thank you so much. It's such a shame that we have to lose you at this point, but you've been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. I've had a wonderful time. Thank you for. <laughs> Thank you for realizing the dream we did actually come true when I managed to sing I'll Never Fall in Love Again with you at the bar. Is, that was um, fantastic. And you did your father justice, you really did. I mean. Put your hands together one more time, please, for Peter. Thanks. Thank you very much. That was a close call, really.